in this video i am doing a trend which is very viral on tiktok and it is super in in the fashion industry as well hi guys my name is aman and i am the messy lassie so the diy trend that i am going to show you is something that i was never a fan of i never liked it and i thought it did not look so good it was not my style but i've seen that so many people are doing it and they are making such stylish designs that i wanted to try it out as well and i think i have started to like it i'm showing you four different tie dye techniques that you can use to make some trendy clothes for yourself they are going to be super easy but super trendy so before we dive in don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified every single time i upload a new video and don't forget to like this video to support my channel so let's get started for the first technique we are going to ice dye a white t-shirt this is going to give you a nice watercolor effect i'm using pink and yellow color you can use any combination of colors that you like because we are using ice it's going to melt so we need something which will allow the excess paint to drip away i'm using this dish rack upside down you can use anything which will just allow the excess paint to drip away also make sure to cover your workstation or floor in my case with plastic to avoid any mess I'm using this powder fabric dyes to dye the t-shirt I'm using a plastic bottle and I've made a hole in its cap. I always say work with what you have because mostly you're not going to need the items again. So use whatever you have at home, reuse, recycle and you can see that I do the same. Add the dye into the bottle and pour water into it. Shake the bottle to mix dye and water together. Next, place your t-shirt onto the rag and start crumbling it. If you want a more blended watercolor effect, what you can do is you can dampen the t-shirt before the whole process so the tie will come out more blended. Then place your eyes all over the t-shirt. Because I wanted big chunks of eyes, I froze water in a large container and then broke the eyes into pieces. First, I poured my pink dye on one side and the yellow dye on the other side. Then I poured my pink dye on some parts of the yellow side and the yellow dye on some parts of the pink dye. After 3 hours, I placed some eyes between some of the folds and poured some more dye over them. Once I was satisfied with the amount of dye, I left this for 24 hours. I rinsed it and then I threw it into the wash. This turned out really playful and I love how the colors are mixing together and I love how easy it was. we are using bleach to give a color t-shirt a nice pattern this is also called reverse dyeing because we are removing the color of the fabric and giving it a nice pattern for this tie dye technique i'm using a spray bottle and i'm pouring my fabric bleach into it place a fork in the center of your t-shirt and twist the t-shirt around then secure the t-shirt with elastic bands There's no perfect way of doing it. You can be very random and work with what you're satisfied with. Next, dampen your t-shirt and then squeeze the water out. Then spray your t-shirt with bleach. Make sure to do the front, back, and sides. Also spray between some of the folds. I bleached the t-shirt twice. The first time I left it for around 3 hours and then I sprayed it again and then I left it for around 1 hour. So now the t-shirt has like three colors in it and I think it looks really good. It's really funky and I love how it stands out. technique we are going to use bleach again but we are going to bleach the t-shirt more than the previous one 
In this technique, we are going to give a grunge effect to the t-shirt. Let's see how this turns out. For this tie-dye technique, I am going to crumble the hem on one side and the bottom of the sleeves on one side. And I am going to secure this all with elastic bands. And I am going to crumble the opposite shoulder and the top of the opposite sleeve. Dampen the t-shirt and pour your fabric bleach onto the areas you have crumpled. I am pouring more bleach because I want a more bleached effect. Turn it around and then bleach the back as well. If you want to bleach less parts of the t-shirt, when you are bleaching the t-shirt, place it onto a rack so the excess bleach can drain away. This turned out to be so edgy and I really like this about it. I also like how it's more bleached and you can see less of the actual color of the t-shirt. For the last tie dye technique, we are using a natural dye and we are going to make a white t-shirt yellow. So we are using a spice that you all have at your homes. We are going to use turmeric. For this tie dye method, fold your t-shirt in half vertically. Then fold the edge of the t-shirt back onto the folded part. Then place your sleeve onto the folded part. Then fold the t-shirt horizontally to make a square. Secure the t-shirt with elastic bands. In a pan, heat water and add 4 teaspoons of turmeric. Let it boil. Once it's boiled, pour it into a bowl and place your t-shirt into it. Soak my t-shirt completely into the mixture. I poured it into a smaller bowl. If you want a dark color, you can leave it in the mixture for a longer period of time or you can take it out, wrap it in plastic and then leave it for a while. But I did not want a very dark color so I took it out after 20 minutes. I rinsed it and then threw it into the wash. tie-dye was so easy and so fun to DIY. I absolutely love the items I have created. I hope you enjoyed these DIYs and I hope you're going to make something for yourself as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video and don't forget to like this video as well. You can follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. If you haven't checked out my previous DIY videos, they are all on my channel. I make easy and funny DIYs related to fashion, decor and organization. So until next time, take care, have fun and be messy. Bye!